and welcome to Wired In. I'm Diana Galata with Hampton City Schools. I'm so pleased today to be joined by Ms. Shelley Spain, and our new principal at Tyler Elementary School. Welcome. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. So I'm so excited for you um, starting the school year as a head principal at Tyler Elementary School, but let's let our viewers get to know you a little bit better. Where'd you grow up? Where'd you go to college? And, and I know that you've worked in several different buildings for okay. us in Hampton. So tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I was born and raised in Norfolk, Virginia. I had all of my school career in Norfolk. And then I had an opportunity to teach in the elementary school that I attended as a child. Um, I went to Norfolk State University for undergrad and I went to Regent University for my master's degree. I have had an opportunity to teach 11 years in Norfolk, so I've taught um, kindergarten, first, third. I was pulled out of the classroom to be a literacy teacher. Um, I went on to become an instructional specialist and then I transitioned over to Hampton City Schools in 2008 to be an AP and now uh, I'm at Tyler as the principal. So tell us a few of the places you've been as AP because you've not just I been have, at one or yeah. two buildings. Yeah, I've, I've been lots of places in Hampton. I've been to Forest, mm -hmm. Booker, Barron, Langley and now Tyler. So you remember them all? I remember them all. And I'm sure they were all great they, great and different experiences. Absolutely. I had an opportunity to learn from amazing people, both at Hampton and in Norfolk, but they were all great experiences. So now that you're head principal, tell me what's your favorite thing about being an elementary school principal? I think the favorite, my favorite thing is that I get an opportunity to work with such an amazing staff. Uh, Tyler's staff is like, a family and they all enjoy being there and all enjoy planning together to make sure students are learning. And I also enjoy the hugs. I get hugs every morning. I get hugs throughout the day. The students are really good for your self-esteem. So I enjoy getting lots of hugs and I enjoy just the opportunity to, you know, have a greater impact on so many people. There are 450 kids at Tyler. So having a greater impact is something that I'm really enjoying. So you touched on this a little bit, but you've been principal at Tyler a little bit more than two months. So tell us what you've learned so far about Tyler in addition to it being a great family environment. Um, I've learned that the students are eager to learn. They, ca they came through the door just ready to learn. Um, I've learned um, that the staff is open to new ideas and willing to try things to put us on the path of success. Um, I've learned that the parents want to get involved and so we've been exploring ways to get them out into the school building um, and I've learned that it's a lot of hard work but you know if we're working together as a team you know we can get it done so that our students are successful. So you have a few obstacles um, going in as principal at Tyler Elementary so talk to us a little bit about your goals and what you see for the future for Tyler Elementary. Well. My goal for Tyler is just to really get back to the basics of what it means to be a Tyler Tiger. Um, and when I talk about basics, I think about all of the wonderful resources that the district has available for us. And we're going to just focus on using those resources with fidelity, um, full implementation so that you know, we can promote student success. Also, we're going to really hit literacy hard. Um, that is an area of of concern right now and we're really going to put a, a heavy emphasis on literacy. So we've been working with the literacy team to put some structures in place to make sure students and staff members are uh, successful. We're also trying to work to build capacity with the, the staff members so that they understand all of the instructional materials and the curriculum that Hampton City Schools has for them to use so that when they're using it for, with fidelity they understand why they're using it and the impact it can have on students. Um, another goal is to just make sure that the staff understands the assessments that we're using and how we use those assessments to drive future instruction. So we have a lot of work to do, but you know what? It's such a great staff and they're open for change and I, I'm just glad to be a part of that change. So you mentioned literacy as one of the goals at Tyler Elementary School. What are you all doing at Tyler to impact literacy? Well, we started with our kindergarten roundup. Every child that came through the door, we gave them a book to start their home library to embrace literacy. And we also gave books to their siblings that came. 
Um, we formed a literacy team and we meet once a week so that we can get a pulse on what's going on with literacy. Um, we can determine where we need to have some professional development to help build capacity with our staff. Um, we make sure that when we're doing our collaborative learning team meetings that we are focusing on the same skills Regardless of what classroom you're in on that grade level, you should be able to go to the classroom and see the same skill being done. Um, we are also talking about the components of the literacy program and making sure that teachers have common understanding about it. Students are being submerged in level text that meets them at their instructional level. And we're also planning some activities to get parents out and involved in literacy um, development after school. So if I'm a parent of a student at Tyler, what can I do to promote literacy at home? Read with my child? Read with your child. Have your child to read, tell stories. Um, check comprehension. You know, you want to make sure that they're just not reading the text, but that they're comprehending the text and they understand what the text means. You could always go on over sight words to help build fluency. So many things to do to build literacy at home. But I really think one important thing is to take the children to the library and let them pick books that interest them because they're, they'll read more when it's books that interest them. And that's, that's relevant for adults as yeah, well. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so if I had a student and I was moving into Hampton City Schools and I was zoned to attend Tyler, what would you tell me as the principal that would, would what would the reasons be that I should be excited about enrolling my child at Tyler? Well, I just have to reiterate that we're getting back to the basics. We're working on developing school pride. We want it to be a place where students and staff love to come to work. Um, we're going to make sure that the instruction is quality, that the teachers are sticking to the curriculum to make sure our students are successful, and that we are a welcoming school. We want our you know, we want our parents and staff to appreciate where, where they have to put their child every day. So come on over to Tyler because it's, it's cool to be a Tyler Tiger. Well, I'm already hearing a lot of great things, so it sounds like you're awesome. doing a good job so far. So before we close, is there anything else that you'd like to share about Tyler or about yourself? Absolutely. Tyler is a, a great place to be. We had an opportunity to have the entire school painted, new tile, new carpet. Uh, it's a beautiful school building and I think you feel as soon as you walk through the door you feel that it's welcoming and it's a great place to be and I know that we're going to be working hard to ensure that students are successful. That's my main goal. Well we're happy you're there. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. And thank you for watching Wired In. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.